Good morning. Good morning. spot to eat these donuts. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi mama, good morning, good morning. <laughs> I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Movement. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I'm always rocking Movement's products. I absolutely love their watches and they come in many different sizes, colors, and styles. The watches are very affordable as they start at $95. They also come with a two year warranty and Movement now has Klarna so you can shop now, pay later. It allows you to pay off the watch in installments. So all these Movement watches are available for males as well as females. And if you guys did want to check out Movement, you can click the link down in the description box down below. The link will apply 15% off and you get free shipping. Thank you, Movement. Hello my friends and welcome to the video. So we are kicking off another cheat day with the one and only 5 Donuts here in Sarasota, Florida. So I was just in Fort Lauderdale for a little while visiting my lovely girlfriend Laura and I miss you babe and I'll see you soon in just a couple days. So yeah, we're gonna start off this day with some donuts. But first, I'm gonna give a little treat for Zoe. Come here. Everybody says they've been missing Zoe and I missed her too. She's a good girl, right? You a good girl? Do you love me? All right, and now time for the donuts. Here we go. We're gonna start off with the legendary, you guys can just say it now, the Krona. It's sweet, it's buttery, flaky, and just delicious. Cheers. Mm. That was just amazing. And we do have some pumpkin spice latte. Level one protein. It tastes amazing. I was kind of in like a pumpkin-y mood this morning. So, just want a pumpkin. But my actual favorite, like I'd have to say it's the, the blueberry muffin. But pumpkin spice latte, next level. All right, next donut. We're gonna go for the, I believe it's called like coconut cream. So we do have whipped cream, we have coconut flakes, we have a graham cracker bottom, and inside is coconut cream. Here we go. Oh. Damn. So it almost tastes like a, like, I absolutely love rice pudding. So it almost tastes like a coconutty rice pudding. Cause, oh man, it's just, that's amazing. Moving on to the next donut, we're gonna go for the birthday cake. So this one is a vanilla frosted. We do have like rainbow sprinkles, whipped cream, and Oreos on top. The candle is not edible. Here we go. Mm. 
That's nice. Man, I love five hundred dollars. All right, Whew. moving on to the last and final donut. We do have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Cinnamon Toast Crunch happens to be one of my favorite cereals, along with like Fruity Pebbles and stuff. So anytime there's like a Cinnamon Toast Crunch or a Fruity Pebble Donut, I always get it. So, all right, here we go. Mmm. Cereal's still crunchy too. I mean, this is like a a cream cheese frosting on top as well. Fire. Ah. Ooh, all right. Well, that is the start of the day. And that was 5-0 Donuts here in Sarasota, Florida. And yeah, so the time is currently 8.45 a.m. Well, it's actually 8.47 a.m. And I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna go train. So today's workout, I believe it's like uh, wall balls, uh, floor presses, and the bike. It's like a 25 minute AMRAP of like sets of six, so six, 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 and then nine, 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 and then 12, 12, 12 of the wall ball, of the floor press, and then of the cows on the bike. So, should be an interesting one. Let's go. just finished up the workout it was pretty difficult again it was a 25 minute AMRAP any workout that's 25 minutes with as many rounds as possible is going to be very tough so again the workout was wall balls floor presses with 50 pound dumbbells and then the bike so it was you do a round of six so six wall balls six floor presses and then six cows on the bike and then repeat that for nine 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 and then 12 12 12 so that's one round so I ended up getting four rounds plus 69 reps. If I would have got to the bike and finished the 12 cows, I would have got five total rounds. But overall, it was a fun workout, it was tough, but um, yeah, definitely, definitely got me. So that's the workout of the day here at CrossFit Bradenton. Time to eat some more food. Alright guys, we are here at Chipotle and I just wanted Mexican food so we uh, 
decided to come to Chipotle because it is quick and it's close to my house. I was going to get PDQ, but it's a little far away. So. Let's see what we got here. So we got some chips. We got a lemonade. You get a burrito bowl with a tortilla on the side and also guac on the side because if you get guac on the side, you get more guac. Thanks to uh, my lovely girlfriend, Lauda, for revealing those tips to me. So what we did get, we do have white rice, black beans, chicken, tomato salsa, corn, red salsa, lettuce, and sour cream, and fajita peppers. I believe that's our So what we do here is open it up. And basically make a burrito. You pretty much get a full burrito here. And then you have like some extra in the bowl, which is pretty nice. So I'll eat that with my chips. And I'll make the burrito. You taking notes, Mickey? I have. <laughs> I, never, I never thought about this, but yeah, it makes sense. Sure. Hola. Yeah, that's in the spot right now. <laughs> oh, by the way, 12.50 p.m. Meal number two of the day. Some treats for Zoe as well. Come here, Come here. No, that's not for you. All right guys, so that was Chipotle, and usually post-training, I'll usually have a protein shake, ignition of Formula One, but um, I really wanted to save some room for the food. Uh, we did have the donuts in the morning, and then got in a really good training session, so post-training, I wanted to get in a bunch of carbs and protein. Uh, I know it is a cheat day, but still, just Chipotle sounded really good to me. So that was meal number two, and uh, yeah, I'll check back with you guys shortly. Alrighty folks, so it's been quite some time since we had that Chipotle. The time is currently 7.56 p.m. And right now I'm just cooking up some food for Zoe. She's hungry, see how excited she got. You hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You wanna eat? Yeah, she's ready, she's just ready to eat. So um, I'm gonna prepare her food for her and then I'm not, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat next. I'm kinda like really wanting lasagna right now. So maybe I'll do that, I kinda want pizza. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I'm kind of feeling something Italian, but yeah, I'll be back with some food once I figure it out. And uh, first, so he has to eat. All right, she loves her steak. Come on, Zoe. Come and eat. Here you go. There you go. There you go. Buon provecho.
Ooh, all right, guys, we are back. The time is currently 8.31 p.m. And so I decided to get Indian food. Um, I felt like lasagna was gonna take too long. So why not get some Indian food? It's been a little while since I've had Indian food as well. And this is one of my favorite Indian dishes. I'm gonna actually get a plate because it's gonna be a lot. All right. So we did get some chicken tikka masala. We have some rice here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the rice on the plate like so. And now, this stuff is up. So I can't, I can't show you, it's gonna spill. But let me see if I can do this. I am so excited to eat this right now. <laughs> and we also do have some garlic naan. If you guys have never had garlic naan, you guys are missing out. Check this out. Oof. It smells amazing. All right. I gotta send a photo to Lauda so she can see how amazing this is right now. All right. Bon provecho. Oh. This is straight up heaven. Mm. Yeah, and usually, I always get this dish, like the spiciest they make it. And today I just got it like medium. And I have to say, I like the medium way better because sometimes the spicy, it's, it's a little too spicy. But for some reason, like I, I see like, oh, the spicy option. And I always just order the spicy option. But um, I definitely have to say this is more enjoyable, not like super spicy. Mm. You can taste more like the, the buttery rich flavor. But when it's like super spicy, it's just super spicy. <laughs> Team Big Bites, baby. And speaking of Team Big Bites, again, a big thank you to Hikari for sending me this custom spoon. It's not your average spoon, it's like a spoon for Big Bites. Got some ice cold OJ on deck. Yeah, this OJ is, um, it's this brand right here. It's called Natalie's and it is super, super tasty. It's just 100% orange. It's like, so it is pasteurized, but it has that real deal, like orangey flavor instead of like Tropicana, you know, it just doesn't taste like this does. This stuff is amazing. I love it. Me encanta. I'm pretty satisfied. I do have some Hagen Dogs strawberry ice cream. This is my favorite ice cream. Um, but to be honest, I don't feel the need to eat any. Um, I'm completely satisfied, I'm nice and full. Um, I basically had my dessert for breakfast with the donuts. Then uh, we went to Chipotle, had a nice massive burrito with that actually kept me full for a pretty long time. 
and got just got some work done in between uh, these meals and then we had some really tasty chicken tikka masala from Maharaja uh, it's right over here on University and it was fantastic so overall I'd say it was a pretty solid chill cheat day um, didn't eat like a crazy amount of calories but I enjoyed myself and that's what's most important on these days it's just a day for me to enjoy myself and eat foods that I don't normally eat on a daily basis so um, that was another cheat day in the books um, hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and again a big thank you to movement for sponsoring today's video be sure to check them out the link will be in the description box down below and yeah that is gonna be it for today's video all right please like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video